Hi, I'm Cheryl and I own a company called Candle Shack. We have created a series of videos to help you make candles and also answer any questions or problems that you have in the candle making process. In this video we are going to show you how to make um, your first soy candle with our soy candle making kit. This kit is suitable for beginners. We have pre-selected all the components as we know that they work together. In your kit you will receive wax, soy wax, safety labels, two 20 centilitre jars, 500 gram tins, fragrance, also two craft boxes for your glasses and also um, wick pads, wick supports and wicks themselves. Um, in order to use our candle making kit you'll need a source of heat, um, a double boiler, a jug, a stirrer and also a thermometer. Here we're using a um, our integrated double boiler, but you can use a pot inside a pot or a bain-marie, um, and we're using our hot plate. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to melt the wax. So you would heat your wax to 65 degrees Celsius. Important thing to remember is not to heat your wax over 80 degrees, um, otherwise you'll you'll ruin your wax and you'll be able to use it. it won't burn properly. The next stage is to prepare the wicks. We've chosen the wicks so that you don't have to, and we know that they work. So we have the wick. We have wick supports as well. The wick supports help to cool your candle and also keep your wick straight. Um, but you don't have to use these in soy candles, they're, they're optional, but we've used them in this video. These are wick pads. So you pop the wick pad onto the bottom, you take the tab off, and then pop it into the center of your tin, and then you're ready to call your candle. Before using your tins, it'd be a good idea to give them a wash, either with a soapy solution or an alcohol wipe. Otherwise, your wick pads will not stick to the bottom due to there being a film over them when they're made. So now our wax is heated 65 degrees, and we're going to pour in the fragrance. and then we're going to stir it slowly to avoid any bubbles. Okay, so the fragrance that I've used is Fireside, which will come in your kit. It's very strong and it's a really, really lovely fragrance. So here comes the exciting bit. All our wax and fragrance is melted and stirred. So I'm going to pour it into the jug. And now we're going to pour the candles. Okay, so I'm going to straighten the wicks and then we're going to leave them to cool. This is where the wick cores come in really handy, especially for beginners. It keeps the wicks nice and straight so there's no kinks in there. Okay, so now we're going to leave them to cool and then we'll come back and um, we'll show you how to finish them off. Okay. 
Right, okay, so that's your candles all ready. Um, they're all dried and ready to go. So I'm just going to trim the wicks. And then what we'll do is we'll pop the safety labels on the bottom. Keep them nice and central. And there you have it. So your candle is all ready. It smells really strong. It's nice and smooth on the top. And then we just pop the wick over and pop your lid on. And that's it all ready. What you can do, um, if you get any imperfections on the top of your candles, you can actually just either use a heat gun um, or pop them under the grill and they'll be nice and smooth. And what I'll show you next is, a, is the box. These are our craft boxes, which fit our 20 centiliter candles. And there you have it, a nice, 